Hi hey, YouTube. So uh, using your drill press as a mill. What to do to your drill press. And I'm going to give you several things to do that are easy and they're going to work from easy to hard. So the first one is, is get yourself a couple clamp on gooseneck lights. So like right now I have it shining up here. I can put the light where I want it, wherever that is, and that thing is lit up. Now I don't have shadows anywhere I don't want to have shadows. So a couple of gooseneck lights are just a brilliant idea. You know, th these are LEDs, these get slightly warm, but you know, I'm like drawing, I don't know, 15 watts between two LED lights. So I've got another one back here and, and they put the light right where I want them, anywhere I want them because they're on that gooseneck. That was the best purchase they ever made. So that's the first one. Second one is you have a set screw right here uh, because there is a keyway well, a slot, not really a keyway, in your uh, assembly here. And that keeps this whole assembly from migrating, because this is spinning, right? From migrating around and jamming up the uh, rack and pinion assembly inside. Um, so you have a set screw that goes down that slot, remove the set screw, throw it away, whatever, and replace it instead with a bolt or you know a long uh, set screw or something like that, something you can put an Allen key into so that you can lock this assembly down. So that's what I did. This is M8 threads, you know, a piece of all thread uh, that I super glued a uh, Bakelite uh, knob onto. So right now it's locked and go back, whatever that is, a quarter turn, eighth of a turn, and now it's free. So locked, doesn't move, now it's free. This does two things for you. It sets a fixed depth of cut, and it also pushes this whole assembly that way in its ways. So it takes any play you have in here out. These things are not milled uh, particularly precise, so there's always a little bit of movement in there. In fact, in mine, it's about half a millimeter. Um, so that one thing right there takes that half a millimeter and pushes it all over that away, which then takes almost all the movement out of the system. So if I loosen this up, I'll talk about the other reason. And, uh, so there's two reasons why this is stiff and why it stays down all by itself, even though this is totally loose. And I'll talk about that next. So anyway, here I am all the way down and this is loose. And uh, I can't show you how bad it is because of the other thing that I did, which I'll talk about in a minute. But right now, if I push this side to side, I get about half a millimeter of movement with with the assembly all the way down. I tighten this up, just that nut, that's it. And now I've reduced that to maybe 0.25 millimeters. Um, I'm going to tap another hole, like right about here, two inches up from this one, and add another knob there so that I have two points of contact on this assembly to push it all that way. And I think that will probably get that 0.25 millimeters gone. Just totally take it out because I'll have two points of contact on this assembly in that slot and that'll probably just completely soak up any movement at all. All right, so that's a super easy fix. This one, all you need is another bolt that you can stick in there that you can tighten up and you're done. All right, this is also super easy to, to do. So these two jam nuts on your little spring assembly here, uh, you're talking about the rack and pinion assembly. So there's some slop movement side to side in here. So all you gotta do is tighten this up a smidge more. It's gonna make this whole thing stiffer uh, maybe enough so you don't need to put a lot of tension on there just a little bit more But you want enough so that you take all this side-to-side -side move, movement out um, Mine is tight enough so that this is now fairly stiff and my uh, my depth of cut ring that's on here is Kind of tight But the thing is is I wanted to make that rack and pinion as snug as I could get without damaging anything So I have done that and it also means that now that it's stiff when I move the quill, things stay where I put them, so I don't have to hold them there, and then I can come over here, lock it down, and now it's fixed. So, see, it didn't move. You know, loose, tighten, <laughs> it just stays put. Uh, okay, so that was, again, an easy fix. You know, loosen, retighten a couple jam nuts, and you're done. All right, so the next one is, let me open the top. So you have this six-pointed uh, spurred shaft in here that's uh, probably about, well, at least mine is, about six inches long, and then it attaches 
you know, that's all one piece of metal that's on the shaft that then ri that drives the uh, drill truck. Um, so what I did is this uh, spurred shaft piece that you know engages your uh, your uh, pulleys. I bent it just a little bit, like a quarter of an inch, so it kind of makes this whole thing sprung a little bit. And that makes this also kind of stiff, but I don't care. I, I can raise and lower it with my fingers easy enough. So what that the auto retract spring doesn't work, I don't care. But what I did is I took movement out of the system <laughs> by making it slightly sprung. Uh, it, it, it's kind of like putting pretension on a screw to get rid of backlash, except for I'm doing it in the shaft assembly that's in here that drives your uh, chuck. Uh, that helped a lot. That got a fair bit of movement out. So, you know, before this was in here, this uh, screw over here, uh, I had more movement in the system. And with that thing slightly sprung, you know, I took that, uh, that half a millimeter of movement and dropped it down to like 0.3 millimeters or, you know, whatever it was. Uh, took it down some just by making that thing sprung. And then I put this in there. That made it better. These are all incremental improvements to take movement out of the system so that it's more and more and more like a mill. All right, that is all the direct modifications that I did to this assembly up here on the drill press. Now I'm gonna talk on the next one about what I did to the table.